Glad I bought these particular fenders. First of all, they are of very high quality material and they look fantastic. But also, they have enough connect points to cover most cases. I didn't think the rear upper strut would clear the disc brake caliper on the left side. But it did. I was ready and willing to cut off that strut because there's also an upper frame bracket. I did have to buy stays for my forks because they are not pre-drilled. And those are pretty high up on the fork. So it wasn't ideal. I did have to bend the struts to eliminate forces I didn't want on the mounts and make them look straighter. All in all, I love the result, and they do not rattle one bit. If your bike has straight forks without the added opening for the connection, then it may require a different type of clamping for the fender supports. Great mud guards, but you will need some tools to fit 8mm spanner set off Allen key some heavy duty cutters I used the ones on my vice grips. Back one went on well had to cut the rods the front one was a bit harder I had to bend the anchor points 45 degrees to fit the mounting point on my Vron suspension someone did say you could use P-clamps but this was easily done with a pair of grips and tape to cover where you clamp the grips to to bend the bracket then you don't take the paint off. Very happy with the end result. So where to start? They are not made of aluminium and a manual is a joke. I really doubt if it's made in and by Germans. But there is no clear indication of any other location to asphalt that M1 will need, a pliers, screwdriver with a set of bits, a bandsaw and a lot of patience. My advice before bending the wire, add plastic spacer to front and back frame and see if you even need to bend or cut anything.